One of the best things I ever did for my finances was to start using a budget planner. This helped me stay on track with my bills, my spending, and my savings. I looked at lots of different budget planners and couldn't find one that I really liked. I found bits and pieces that I liked from other planners, but nothing that had everything I wanted. So I decided to make my own. And now I'm gonna show you how I did it so that you can make your own too. I started on Canvas homepage and I went to custom size. I changed pixels to inches. I make my planners in eight and a half by 11 inch size. You can make it in whatever size you want and then click create new design. And this will open up your artboard in that size. So I'll start by adding my title and this is my budget planner and then I'm going to go to element and the first thing I'm going to do is add a block and the first section that I'm going to add is going to be my income section so I'm going to pull this all the way across slide this up to make the box smaller change the color and then I'm going to select the title and control D and slide that down inside this box and make this income. And then I'm going to use a line from Lines and Shapes and I'm going to put the end right at the same end as that colored box. Then I'm going to go to the Line Style tab and I'm going to drop the line weight down to one and then I'm going to scoot this all the way over. And then I'm going to Control D to duplicate that line. And I'm going to Control D one more time. And this one I'm going to put kind of in the middle and then I want to select all three and go to position and tidy up. And that spaces them equally apart. And now I'm going to control plus to zoom in. I'm going to grab a text box and I'm going to use this text and I'm going to make this income one right there. Now I'm going to go back to lines and elements and I'm going to grab another line, pull it up. I'm going to go on and drop the line weight down to one. I'm going to line it up right to the bottom of that box and I want this at 90 degrees and then I will pull it right up to the end of that line right there. See how that looks. It needs to come up just a bit more. Now I'm going to control D and put it there. One more control D. Put it, line it up. Select this line and hold down the shift key and select this line and this line. I'm going to scoot them over just a little bit. Once I have them about where I want them, I'm going to go to position and tidy up and that way they'll be spaced equally. And we can take our text box and stretch it so that it meets those lines. And as long as the alignment is set to center, it will put your text in the center of the text box. Control D and we'll make this income two and control D one more time and we'll make this other income and then control D and this is going to be our total and if you have um, additional income that you want to include you can just add a column for that select all and I'm going to group them together I'm going to control D and I'm going to pull this down below there and I'm going to change this to bills to be Paid. And we're going to ungroup, stretch this out, go to position and center. I'm going to change this to bills to be paid, change this to date due, change this to amount, and I'm going to change this to notes. I'm going to slide this line up just a little bit, slide this one up, and I will control D. And I know, you know, about how many lines I need. I would say make your list and get an idea of how many you want and then just kind of pull them all together. And I'm going to select all of these. I'm not going to include the top line. I'm going to select all of these 
and go to position and I'm going to go to tidy up. Pull this over and get everything lined up the way I want it. Make sure I leave enough room at the bottom for the last set of things that we're going to add. I'm going to take this line and drag it down to the bottom. I'm going to select this line and pull it down. Select this one and pull it down. Then I'm going to go back to lines and shapes and I'm going to click see all. And I'm going to select this circle outline and I'm going to shrink it down, scoot it all the way over a little bit more. And I'm going to select this line, hold down the shift key and this line and this line. I'm going to go to position and space evenly vertically. And I'm going to control D to duplicate the circle. And I'm going to control D again. Control D and don't worry about them being perfect right now. I try to get them lined up as much as I can where I want them and just add a circle to every line. Then we're going to go back and we're going to select everything but the circles, group it together and now go to the lock button and lock it in place. So now what that has done is you can't move the lines. So we're going to go back over here to our circles and we're going to select all the circles. Go to position and click tidy up. So then I'm going to grab a text box and I'm going to do this font again and I'm going to put it here. Shrink down this box. And I'm going to change the alignment to the left. Highlight all of this text and then I'm going to put home payment. I can select and control D, put it on the next line and put the next bill. And then go back down and repeat the same process until I have all of my bills listed out. If you need to add a couple extra lines, that's fine. And then what I do is every month I list out the due date, the amount, any notes that I need to remind myself of. Um, and then once I pay that bill, I check it off in the circle. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to select all of this again. I'm going to control D and I'm going to pull this down to the bottom. And this I'm going to change to savings. To ungroup it, go get it to let go. And then I'm going to stretch out the text box, go to position and click center. And then for this, I'm going to put account, amount, date, and total. And then I will go back and select account, control D, and bring it down to this line. And I will put primary savings and then select that and pull this one down to the next line, emergency fund. And then if you have any additional accounts that you want to keep track of, just add a line, select all of this and group it together. I'm going to control D one more time. I'm going to slide this down to the bottom and I will change this box to monthly summary and ungroup. Stretch this box out so that it all fits on one line where I want it. Go to position, click center. And here I'm going to put total income and delete this and then total budgeted expenses. And you can just stretch this box out and we need to scoot this line over just a smidge so we can fit it all on one line. And then this is going to be full expenses and this will be the difference. I will delete this line, grab this one, pull it back up, this one back up, same with this one. And now I have my monthly budget planner. I'm going to control Z and minus to zoom back out. And this is my monthly budget planner. That easy to make. It's lines and boxes and text and circles. Since we're doing the planner series and I'm going to be making my own yearly planner for next year, I'm going to include my budget planner in my yearly planner. And I hope you'll follow along with this planner series. And once we've created all of the planners that are going to go into the yearly planner, I'll do a video to show you how I put it all together so that you can create yours too. And if you have any questions about creating your budget planner or Canva in general, be sure to post those in the comments and I'll get back to you just as quickly as I can. Just an FYI, this is also another digital product that you can create and sell. My only word of caution is that if you're going to sell them, be sure you follow Canva's rules about using any elements from the library. 
I have included a link below in the description for you to try the free 30-day trial of Canva Pro. And if you're using the Canva free version, I highly recommend giving the Pro account a try. It just offers so much more. And also you'll find a link to the Canva course that I'm currently working on. Um, this will be launching very soon and it will take you from Canva beginner to Canva Pro with super easy step-by-step -step instructions. And there will be options for the course and I do have a wait list so be sure to click the link below to get on that wait list so you'll be the first to know when it launches. I'll be back next week with a project planner tutorial for the planner series and you won't want to miss that so be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it. Until that tutorial make it a productive and fantastic week and enjoy your Canva.